Hello everybody and welcome back to Grandma Gives It A Go. Today I have three more products to show you. One is an As Seen On TV um, and two, well the one I've seen it advertised but I don't know, it doesn't say it on the box but it could be just a different brand. And the other one is just something that was uh, that was given to me and I wanted to try it. So to get started we're going to use, we're going to try a can strainer. This is it. This is the packaging. That's your directions right there. Hold it over the can. Put the, your finger on the lid. Hold the can. Drain the liquid. So I opened two different size cans just to see, um, you know, because cans are different sizes, just to see if it works well. Now we got a can of vegetables, because that's a smaller top. And I'm going to hold it just like she did it on the picture. One finger and one can. And I'm going to tip it over. Oh, there we go. All right. It's actually working really well. It worked very, very well. Nothing fell out. Nothing came out but the water. That's really well. That's very good. So now I'm going to try it with a can of tuna because this is a wider mouth and I want to see if that makes any difference. Ready? Here we go. Okay. It's draining a little bit slower but there's not as much water in a can of tuna as a big can of vegetables. So actually it's doing its job. It's doing beautifully. So this is a pass. We're going to give this a five out of five. That's one of my ratings. There's five, one to five. And this definitely is a five. It's easy to use. It's small. You can just rinse it off and put it in your drawer. And there you go. Perfectly drained can of tuna and you don't have all the juice and the water and the oil and everything all over the place. So that really worked really well. So let's set this bowl aside and go to our next product. This one is an Engrave It Pro. It's this what it looks like. It is a little bit heavy and it's a little bit maybe feels like a little bit cumbersome to use but this includes one Engrave It Pro, three stencils, and one replacement tip. Now it says here that it works on metal, wood, glass, plastic, leather, and more. So I have some wood and I have some metal and I have glass and I have plastic to try it on. I don't have anything leather so we're gonna have to just skip that. Um, it shows that you can engrave your tools and engrave your keys and then just make nice designs. I'll show you the stencils. Here are the stencils that it comes with. There's one with all the letters and numbers, the whole alphabet. The one that's got, it says love, wish, joy, smile, peace. It's got butterflies and hearts and stars and flowers. And there is the third one that is a little more complicated. It's uh, roses and little scalloped edges, but the roses look pretty complicated. I'm not too sure how that's gonna work, but let's give it a try. So, for the first test, um, okay, so let's do on metal. So what I have for metal is I have a canning lid. And I thought, well, you know, when you're canning and you want to put a label on what is in your jars, um, you know, you can try it. So it says to, in the directions, it says to put the two batteries, I put the AA batteries in, it doesn't come with batteries, and to hold it like a pencil and hold the button down with your thumb. You can can hear it a little bit. It's not very loud, but it's very it's heavy. It's awkward to hold. It's too big of a pencil and to hold this way. So to hold it, applying slight pressure, press down tool on surface to be engraved. Get down. You can, cat's trying to get after the balloons. We're gonna do a test with the balloons. Um, so a slight apply slight pressure. And then it says, attach the magnifier if needed. Magnifier not included. Attach the magnifier, but it doesn't have one. But where would you attach a magnifier? I don't see any place on here that you could attach a magnifier. But anyway, okay. So let's do metal first, because that's the first thing on the list. So metal, if I was to can something what could I write on here? I could write 
Mmm, pickles. That worked extremely well. You can see how nice that was. And it was very easy. Just like it said, slight pressure, just like you were writing with the pencil. So let's just do... There, look at that. Pickles and a little heart. That worked very, very well. That's perfect. So first test is a five. Five out of five. Now the next one, it says wood. So I have this wooden plaque of mine. It's a picture on the other side. So let's try and see what happens with this. So I'm going to, hmm, should we start with a stencil? Let's see if it works with a stencil. If, oh, you gotta be careful because if I'm applying too much pressure, it feels like it's gonna cut off. But it didn't come out very dark to show very, no, it's not, you can't see it at all. Let me try it on the lighter part. No, it is not doing very well. Maybe this is the wrong kind of wood, but it just says wood. I mean, this is just a slice off of a tree. It's just a piece, you know. Um, no, okay. There's a little bit, there I made a little circle. It kind of showed up. There we go. Okay, now we're getting there. It's really difficult. I don't know if that'll show, if you really can't see how well that turned out. But it's right here. I just made little swirls. Right there's a little circle. It was okay. Let's see. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. It is a little bit harder on the wood, I gotta say. I need a little flower. Okay, well there it is working now. Maybe it was I was holding it the wrong way. I may have been holding the tip up too straight. Yeah, if the tip is up too straight, it kind of works, but it works better. It did say in the directions to hold it at an angle, just like you're writing with a pencil. So it is okay. I'm going to give it a three on the wood because it showed up kind of, but it was a little bit more finicky to get it to come out on the wood than it was on the metal. So the next one is glass. So now I don't know if they mean a drinking glass or a piece of glass, like a frame, like whatever, but we're going to try putting something on the back of this glass. Let's see if this will work. Let's just do, there's a bird on this side. So let's just do like a flower. Oh yeah, look how easy that's going. That is working all right. It's working really well. Okay, so it worked all right on the glass. Let's give it a, you know, it was very easy. It was very easy to do. And I think, it, the more you kind of fiddle with it, and the more you practice, so then the leaves, you know, it just depends on the way you hold it. It says at a slight angle, and light, light pressure. So yeah, it worked very well on this glass. This is just a drinking glass. I'm gonna try a glass jar. I don't know if it makes a difference what type of glass. So let's see. Oh yeah, it works there, perfect. Look at that. Now my husband's going to go canning something and he's going to say, why are there hearts all over this jar? Because, you know, once it's on there, it's etched in there. And that's not, <laughs> that's not coming off. It's engraved right in the glass. Gee, hun, what hearts? I don't know what you're talking about. All right. So I'm also going to try it on a flat piece of glass that I did experiment with earlier. But I wanted to see if it, this was just something, a different thing. But let's see. If I, let me try the stencil. I don't want to try the flowers. They look a little bit too intricate. Let me see if I can make a butterfly. If you press too hard, it does feel like it's going to turn off on you. Oh, that worked really well. Look at how nicely that worked. Do you see that butterfly? That was, that worked very, very well. And then I wrote grandma on here. 
and it did it did very well and I put a heart so yeah it works very very well in glass of all types Gla drinking glass a glass jar and a sheet of glass so I think I'll give it give the glass the glass was a success the metal was a success the wood was not it, well, it kind of was, but it, not as good. It didn't work as good as it did on glass and metal. So our next test is on plastic. So let's try. I have a plastic drinking glass here. Let's try making, let's see, let's do a happy face. This is my little pickles glass when he comes over to visit. So let's do a happy face. Some, somewhat. It is all in the way you hold the pen and how much pressure. So there it worked okay. I don't know if it's hard to, there we go. You can see it there. That worked pretty good. It kind of like more, it, you can, if I scratch it because it's like pieces of plastic, then it just kind of goes away. You really can't see it anymore. So it kind of just scratched the plastic. It didn't engrave it. No, it doesn't, not too well. It just kind of wipes right off because you can, you feel like it's, somebody just took a knife and scratched it. So it didn't engrave it. It scratched it on there, but then it just kind of wiped right off. So we're not gonna, I'm not too thrilled about it on this plastic glass. You can see the marks right there. You can see where it's left. But if you just scratch it off, see, it just comes right off the bits of plastic. And then you don't have your design anymore. You have only a little tiny bit of it. So that wasn't very, very, very good. So let's try a plastic bag. It's one of those little cosmetic bags and see. Hmm. Okay, it's there it is. I didn't it didn't look like it was doing anything, but when I picked it up and the light reflected on it there. Okay. Oopsie, you press too hard again. It doesn't um work. Okay, so it did okay. I put couple of smiley faces, a couple of hearts. It did okay. You can see it. It's just got to be angled the right way for you to see it. So I guess you could maybe mark it, you know, put, oh, you know, makeup or whatever you want to put it. But then it, it's a clear plastic bag. So you see what's in it anyway. So that, that kind of plastic worked okay. The plastic glass, not so much. So I'm going to give the metal five, one out of, uh, five out of five. The glass, I'm going to do, I'll give it four because it was a little awkward and it just, you know, it did etch it and it's nice and smooth, but it was not as easy to do. The wood, I'm not, I'm going to give it one. It made some marks, but not that great. It took a lot of effort to get any design out of that. And the plastic, I'll give it a three. Because it did work, but not, you know, it, it, it was okay. It didn't work. Now, this is what I want to be curious about. On the back of this paper, it shows that it's three easy-to-use stencils. You can engrave tools, glasses. Now, see, it shows drinking glasses, so that it did work. And it shows all the different things you can use. Well, here it says the tip will not even puncture a balloon. Now the tip is not horribly sharp, but it's a little pokey. So we're gonna give it the test. Now it looks like she is holding the button down because there's the button right there and there's the picture. And it looks like she's holding the button down. So let's see if it will not pop a balloon. Mm -hmm. Whoa, okay it popped the balloon. So if I don't turn it on, if I just hold it and push, 
<laughs> okay, that gets a zero out of five because it says it won't even pop a balloon and I didn't even push. I just put the tip on there and I gently, just as gentle as I would if I was engraving something. So overall, the Engrave It Pro is really, really well. It works really well. Depending on what you want to grow, I'm sure once you use it a little bit more often and play around with it, you know, get the feel of it and get the to know the right amount of pressure that you have to put on there, it'll work. So I'm going to give the diamond coated Engrave It Pro four out of five. Now for our next product, we have to go over to the sink because we're going to try <clears throat> rubber peeling gloves. Now it says that it is gone are the days of the smelly hands and dirty utensils, cleans and peels all in one. There's no instructions in the box, nothing on the box. It just says clean and veg clean and peel your vegetables without losing any nutrients. Rough surface allows effortless cleaning and peeling. Safer than knives and peelers, made of PVC with waterproof lining, multiple uses, vegetables, removing fish scales, and more. One step saves time. It shows the picture of the person using them right under the tap. I was originally going to have a bowl of water here and just rub it with the water, but this is kind of like the only instructions. So we're going to take the product over to my sink and see how this, see if this works like it says it does. I've got a carrot and a potato here. It shows on the box a carrot, but it also says that it peels vegetables. So I'm assuming potato will, will count. Now I've got kind of small hands and these are pretty big gloves. There's, <laughs> there, you know, there's, there's, that's how, that's how much room I have in that glove on them, but I'm going to try it anyway. It's going to be a little cumbersome and awkward, but we're going to see. Turn the water on. Okay, so I'm going to start with the carrot first. That's what they showed on the box. So there's my carrot. You can see where it's got to be peeled. You can see all the, the dirt and the peel on there. So let's Let's give it a go. Let's see. All right, so you're supposed to just rub it with the glove. Okay. Um, it doesn't feel like anything's happening. I mean, I can feel it rubbing against the rough little um, nubs on the gloves here. I don't know. A little hard thing. I don't know if this is if it's working, but if it's any faster than um, using a potato peeler or a knife, because okay, so that's my carrot afterwards. I don't see a whole lot of difference. It looks a little cleaner where there was some dirt on there, but I don't see any. Difference. I'm just going to hold it and hold it on this glove and just rub against the glove. And this, the, the amount of time that it's taken me to do this, I could have probably got my knife out and peeled four carrots. So, okay, it didn't really work very well. You can't see any peel because the gloves are orange, the carrots are orange. You can't see that if anything came off. It doesn't feel like anything came off. It doesn't look like peel. Some of the dirt come off, that's it. So let's try it with the potato. So here's my potato, not peeled. Let's see what happens with this guy. Give it a rub. And again, I'm not <laughs> seeing a great bit of difference on this potato. I mean, if you wanted to eat with your clean, have um, your skin on your potato, and all she basically wanted to do was wash it and take the dirt off, then it's okay. It's kind of doing that, but 
it's not peeling it by any means. And I'm pushing very hard, very, very hard, rubbing it right against the gloves. Two hands go in there. I mean, well, okay. So there's the potato after. You saw the before and after. It doesn't look like there's a whole lot of difference. There's no bits of peel on my gloves. There's nothing in the sink. It cleaned it, but it certainly didn't peel it. There's peel still on there. And the amount of effort, you really have to push very, very hard to get anywhere, to get even the dirt off. And the amount of effort that it took, yeah, I think I'll give the rubber peeling gloves a big pass. What I might use these for, because I did see a product similar to this, is there was these gloves that I saw that you have, and they have the little bumps, and you use these and you pet your dog or your cat, and when you do, it takes off the fur. And you can do it on your, um, your couch or your chair and get the cat and the dog hair off your furniture. So when these dry, I'm going to put that to the test, and I'll let you know in the next video how that worked out. So we're going to go bring her back over here. So that's for today's video. So we had the rubber peeling gloves that, had, that worked absolutely useless. They did not work at all. The um, engrave it pen worked pretty well. It did, however, break the balloon, both just... With, with and without it being turned on. It did engrave glass. It did engrave the plastic bag, but not the plastic glass. It did very well on the metal. It didn't do very well on the wood. Again, you probably have to kind of just play around with it a little bit and feel it. And the, the uh, can strainer worked excellent. So that wasn't too, too bad. Only one complete fail out of the three of them. So for that is it for today's video. If you know of any products out there that you are tempted to buy but you're just not sure, leave it in the comment section below and if I can get my hands on one, I will test it for you and let you know. So enjoy these products and try them because, you know, except for the gloves, they worked really well. I am going to try them as a cat hair remover and see if they do work better for that because they are pretty much look like the ones I've seen in the stores where they're just a rough nubbly kind of glove and you use them to pet your cats and to wipe the fur off your furniture so I might just keep those and use them for that because we have two cats that shed so we're going to try that I will let you know so with that stay safe everybody Please leave the like, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell so you know when I'm testing new products, and leave me a comment. Thanks everybody. Bye now.